Hey wrestling fans and FN True viewers, JC Styles here with a SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 review. And me and Brian went last night at midnight to get our copies, and which was shocking when we got there. We were expecting a big line because Fable 3 also released today. And we were like the 12th, 11 and 12th people in line waiting. So it was kind of weird because also you had Star Wars Force Unleashed 2 that came out as well. So that was kind of really weird. But anyway, let's get into this review. You have SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. So many great features, so many great things about this game. IGN, uh, I'm not IGN, Game Informer gave it a 8.0, and they very rarely give any games a 10. Uh, the only reason why they gave it an 8 was because that when you did uh, Road to WrestleMania and the wrestlers talked in the talk in the backstage sequences their mouths weren't synced to what they were saying so they would be talking and like a couple of seconds later you would go their mouths would move so that was a bad thing about it but for them for a game for a wrestling game for them to only say that was the only flaw with it amazed me you have create a finisher you have created storyline create off the top rope finisher uh, the create a match was kind of disappointing because the fact is that you had the uh, you're very very selectly limited to that uh, you basically can only create very few things with that as you guys could see with the videos as well as the graphics the gameplay everything was amazing I would not have changed this for anything and I mean anything WWE Universe is amazing. You control it all the time. You can control the outcomes of what you want to see. If you want to see the Miz win the United uh, win the WWE Championship, you can you could uh, build him up to the main event. You, if you want to see Shawn Michaels win the WWE the World Heavyweight Championship, you can build him up to do that. It's just such an amazing game and such an amazing features in this game. Uh, there's over 70 plus wrestlers in the game. You have legends, f all the way from Jimmy Superfly Snooker all the way to The Rock in Austin. You know this game had it all. I love it. I don't plan on trading it in until SmackDown 2012 comes out. If you guys want to send me any invites, my gamer tag will be in the description box down below, and as well as Brian's. Uh, so this is what the case looks like for Smack for the 360. I believe that PS3 and we got a different uh, case. Uh, let's see. Discover your paths. Oh, um, Road to WrestleMania. You have Undertaker, Christian, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, and I believe Randy Orton. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's. I kind of wish that they would have given the Miz a Road to WrestleMania cause, and Big Show a Road to WrestleMania because it's, and Drew McIntyre because... There's so many guys that are in the business right now that are in the, on Raw and on SmackDown that are delivering, but yet they're going to continue Chris Jericho in a road to WrestleMania and John Cena. I would have rather have seen someone else in the champion in the uh, in the road to WrestleMania series. Also, uh, I just got done beating the Undertaker with Shawn Michaels at Wrestle uh, at WrestleMania and. Uh, in the WrestleMania arena on Legend, and yeah, I mean that was a battle. Uh, you know, later this year you have in the DLC, you're gonna have Nexus, you're gonna have the British Bulldog and Lex Luger, uh, you're gonna have the Nexus gear, the Nexus song. Uh, there is an online fan access pass that's 800 Microsoft points if you have 360 or 999 on the PS Network, PlayStation Network. Um, that allows you to get. Uh, some bonus attires, the Dark Ministry of Darkness attire for the Undertaker. They said that you only get that if you pre-ordered it off of Amazon. Yeah, okay. And you get the ability to unlock everybody right off the bat if you choose to. Me myself, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to play the game and unlock it, have fun with it, take my time. Me and my buddies are going to plan on doing a wrestling league for SmackDown 11. Uh, we're going to do our draft, and then we're going to do shows with the wrestlers that we have drafted. So if it seems like something you guys want to do, hit me up on my gamer tag. I'm openly willing to take friend requests and any ideas. Uh, we will have story, little, somewhat of little storylines for the wrestlers, backstories, feuds, stuff like that. 
Um, so yeah, you know, it's something fun for everybody. You know, it's not competition wise, it's just fun. Uh, as well as, you know, me and, well, I wanted to get this game so bad. And Brian was kind of iffy on it. He really didn't, speaking of Brian, he had to do, to tend to some, uh, matters. But we're all set. He's, uh, taking care of that. I'm doing this video real quick to get my point out there about SmackDown vs. Raw and how great of a game it really is. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Kids, uh... If you go to school and you get milk money or, you know, lunch money, save it. Get SmackDown. If you have a paper route, save your money. Get SmackDown. Uh, if you work a full, a part-time job, save money. Get this game. It's worth the sixty-three fifty-nine you will spend on it. I um, can't wait for Christmas time because, you guys, as you know, I am big on Nexus. And I'll be, I'll love to be able to play as Wade Bear and Justin Gabriel and the other Nexus guys. Uh, there is rumors that there's going to be a Daniel Bryan DLC later in the year or later sometime early next uh, next quarter, uh, meaning like the first couple of months of the year, new year. As much as I can say, I can stress, WWE Universe, uh, off-the-top-rope finishers. I created an off-the-top-rope codebreaker, pedigree, uh, RKO, Stone Cold Stunner, uh, Jackhammer, you know, Super DDT off the top rope. I've created so many off the top rope finishers. It's unbelievable. And the Canadian Destroyer, another one. So, guys, get out there. Get this. I give this game a 9.5. I am a neat freak. I would have loved to have seen the mouth actually be sync in what the wrestlers were saying. But we can't get that. Not everyone's perfect. So, send me a friend request. Send Brian a friend request. Pick your copy up. Get your DLC, and I'll see you on Xbox Live, guys. And as well, as I just want to say, you're either Nexus or against us. <laughs> and, uh, again, SmackDown vs. Raw, 2011. This is your moment. Get your game. Get online. Get unlocking your wrestlers. Get your DLC. You will have fun with this game. I bought it last night. I went to. I was up from. Tw I was up from the time I got home to 5 a.m. this morning. Woke up at 11 and I was playing this again. That's how addicting this game is right now. It is fun. It is fun as hell. I love wrestling. That's if you're a wrestling fan, you don't have that game right now. You're not a wrestling fan. You need to get that game. As you can see, I have it on in the background right now. I'm in WWE Universe mode right now. And guys, you know, off the top rope finishers, Road to WrestleManias, WWE Universe. Uh, all that good stuff is worth it. Get it. Live your moments. Do what you want to see get done in the wrestling business. And I will see you on Xbox Live, you guys.